And I believe that one of the problems in the world today that is not recognized is the great intensification and acceleration of evil in the world at this moment because the devil knows his time is short. The coming of the Lord Jesus Christ may be drawing near. And the scripture teaches that as the coming of the Lord draws near, the activity of the devil will intensify. The kidnapping, the violence, the terror all over the world, I believe is a part of demonic activity. One authority says that witchcraft is growing faster than any other religion in the Western world. And one reason I think that young people get involved is because it does get them involved. It's a return to nature in a sense, a worship of the natural gods, finding some power within themselves or broadening their minds, some of them through drugs and some without drugs. But thousands of young and old alike are dabbling in the occult at this moment. Shops in our cities are selling all types of things that go along with the occult. One university professor, not this university, but a university professor said some time ago that there were dozens of covens on their campus. Now, a coven, as you know, is a circle of witches and warlocks, and warlocks are male witches, numbering 13. They always number 13. And they have their rites and their rituals and their literature and their witchcraft. Now, what is right and what is wrong? What is false and what is true? The Bible has a lot to say about it, and I'm going to cover a big subject in a very few minutes tonight. First, the Bible teaches there is a devil. There is a devil. We meet him in the third chapter of Genesis, and we don't get rid of him till the end of the book of Revelation. He's all the way through the Bible. And in the Bible, we find that he's a person. He walks, he talks, he tempts, he lies, he flatters, he kills, he works miracles, he counterfeits, he oppresses, he afflicts, he influences, he destroys, he quotes and misquotes scripture, he possesses, he inflicts bodily injury, he sows discord in the church, he spreads false doctrine. Those are the things that this personality in the Bible called the devil does according to the scripture. Now he's called in the Bible, he's called Satan. He's called the devil. He's called a fallen angel. He's called a roaring lion. He's called the prince of demons. He's called a wolf, a prowler, Beelzebub, the dragon, the serpent, Lucifer, a great light, a star, a betrayer, an adversary, a wonder worker, a liar, the father of lies, the god of this world, the prince of this world, and the prince of the and power of the air. His is described in the Bible as the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of evil, the kingdom of unrighteousness, the kingdom of hatred, sin, death, hell, and the grave. He produces false miracles, false spiritual experiences, false tongues, the father of fakery. He has a false church, a false gospel, a false plan of salvation, a false trinity, false preachers, false prophets. That's what the Bible says about the devil. Now, the word Lucifer means light bearer. One who shines. It's a deceptive light. It's not the true light. It's a deceptive light. It's a false light. He promises freedom, liberty, and life. But he produces only sorrow, slavery, and death. He's a deceiver. And he's trying to deceive thousands of you young people tonight. By promising you that if you'll only follow him and serve him and bow down to him and live for him, that he will give you freedom, liberty, and life. But actually, he gives you sorrow, slavery, 
and ultimately eternal death in hell. Now the devil is resisted in the Bible by the characters of the Bible that God honored and blessed and loved. He was resisted by Job. He was resisted by Jesus. He was resisted by the disciples. He was cast out of heaven. And the Bible says he will eventually and ultimately be cast into hell, the lake of fire that was prepared for the devil and his angels. Now you say, how did the devil originate? Why, why did God allow the devil? Well, there's a lot of uncertainty about that. The apostle Paul calls evil the mystery of iniquity. They're just some things we don't know. God did not reveal it to us. And if God did not reveal it to us, we shouldn't be delving into speculation. But there are some hints in the Bible about where the devil originated in Isaiah the 14th chapter and Ezekiel the 28th chapter. In the 14th of Isaiah it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cast down to the ground? For thou hast said in thy heart, and then it says five times, I will, putting his will against God's will. Listen to it. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. In other words, there came a time somewhere back in eternity when Lucifer, the highest and greatest of all of God's created beings, led a rebellion against God. And it seems that about a third of the angels joined him in the rebellion. They were cast out of heaven. They landed on this earth. And the devil and these fallen angels who have now become demons are active on this planet. They're under judgment. They've been defeated by the cross and the resurrection. They are ultimately going to be cast into hell. But in the meantime, they are active and increasing their activity. Now, the sin of Lucifer was pride. He wanted to be like God. He wanted to be above God. He wanted to be the greatest being in all the universe. So he led the rebellion. You say, where did he get this idea? We don't know. How did sin enter his heart? We don't know. Why did God allow him? We don't know. This is wrapped up in the mystery of God. It's wrapped up in the mystery of iniquity. It's something we don't understand. And it'll never be resolved until the battle of Armageddon when our Lord Jesus Christ is going to come back followed by thousands of the armies of heaven and he's going to destroy forever the devil and his angels. And we'll be rid on this planet of the greatest plague and the greatest thing that has ever happened to any planet anywhere in the universe.